Scorpios, this is your mid-month reading for May 15th through June 15th. Thank all of you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate you and your energy. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other Scorpios. We're going to be taking a look at angel numbers here uh, in this reading. If you guys have seen these angel numbers, let us all know how you've seen it, how it resonates with you and your world. You don't have to Google these angel numbers. Just let me know how the message feels for you, okay? Whatever is showing up for you here, Scorpio. So, all right, let's go in. Your first angel number here, some of you guys are familiar with this number. You have 1998, Scorpio. Spirit is saying we create our own reality. 1998 is a angel number that uh, signifies an indi well it is an indication <laughs> that a significant phase or cycle is coming to an end in your life it, and I feel like it is something that you've wanted to leave anyway so it's coming to an end it's not going to be something that you've wanted or that you want that's coming to an end it's something that you've it's something that you want to leave anyway okay so that's coming to an end in your life and if you have been feeling a sense of anxiety fear or loss some of you guys want to lose weight that's what i just heard lose weight or <laughs> lose some pounds some of you guys want to drop some dead weight and that has nothing to do with your personal weight it's just uh nonsense or drama you want to drop maybe a person here dead weight that's what i'm hearing as well so spirit is saying if you've been having this sense of anxiety fear or loss remember that sometimes feeling loss is the first step to finding yourself and everything in your life happens for a higher purpose be open to flow of great uh be open to the flow of great abundance in all areas of your life and share that abundance in all its forms with others live your life with honor and integrity and stand up for truth and justice which i feel like you guys do that they're saying that the world needs you and your energy. Don't give up here, okay? Uh, don't give up. I don't know why they said that. The proof is in the pudding. I don't know why, <laughs> why they said that here, okay? But don't give up. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Your second angel number is 598 Scorpio. This is a significant phase or cycle. Again, they're saying this. An indication that a cycle or a phase is ending this is saying the same thing so this is double confirmation for you that a significant phase or cycle may be ending in your life and this will have a domino effect in all aspects of your life these endings will allow for new opportunities to present in your life that will open doors to beneficial new beginnings that you need that are happening for you uh, that are happening for reasons that will become evident soon to you do not uh, fuss over these passings or endings but rather be open to your own passions and purpose as these are positive and productive focal points for you trust that the changes you are uh, making in your life will ensure a steady supply of plenty in your life have no fear of lack or loss and know this is divine right order for you all right that some phase or cycle is coming to a close your third angel number is 21 21 they're encouraging you to learn how to truly trust your own inner knowing and heed its messages do the work to know yourself better honestly know the good and bad in yourself and they want you to identify your path in life and know what your true values, principles, goals, and needs are. Be honest with yourself, view your life objectively, and use your awareness to move forward by making the right choices for the future. You'll know intuitively if something is right for you and your gut, you'll feel that, okay? You are responsible for your own thoughts and actions. And the things you think, say, and do will come back to either bless or haunt you. They just showed me the Ace of Swords with that message here, okay? So remember that. Uh, send out the most highest and positive energy that you can, all right? Your fourth angel number here is 1444. Don't clown on my floors, all right? <laughs> How I wrote them. 1444. The universe is offering you positive energies here, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio, inner strength and support 
to enable you to uh, get the work done that you need to. They understand that you have been working very hard towards your goals and encourage you to look to new and different ways to go about getting your work done more effectively. Okay, smarter, not harder. Stop feeling stressed, anxiety, and worry over your financial situation or issues as these negative emotions and energies block the flow of supply and abundance into your life. Follow the path that you wish to pursue, go within and be in constant contact with your higher self. That's very important coming in for you. I feel like as you do that and you tap into that energy, getting to know yourself on a more intimate level, really learning how to truly um, trust in your own inner knowing uh, and heed his messages, the more comfortable you will feel as you continue to move forward with great sp great speed. That's what I'm saying. A lot of you guys, you're going to be moving forward with great speed. So you guys have a new beginning here because I told you with angel number 1998 and 598 Scorpio, that there is a, a, a significant phase or cycle that's ending or coming to a closure or ending here in your life. And that's why you have the full card that's showing up for you. We're going to double up it and go through each one of these cards to see exactly what's showing up with them. Okay. So the full card is coming in towards you, letting you know that there is something new, a new beginning that's showing up, a new start. It could be in any area of your life. It could be in your own personal life. You're becoming more in, uh, spiritually aligned with your higher self. This is a um, personal growth or transformation that you're going through. Uh, you're focused on self-development here. Or you guys could be switching jobs. You could be switching homes. You could be switching up minor things in your life here as well. But it's definitely something new that's going to be happening for you. They're encouraging you to push your fears aside and take a leap of faith with this dreamer's card. They're letting you know that they're going to give you bright ideas, okay, with the light bulb. It's energy efficient. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. <laughs> bright ideas are coming in towards you. Some of you guys, your guides are in the back. You see that angel in the back of this card here? Hello. They're letting you know that you are the dreamer. Some of you guys need to pay attention to your dreams daydreams okay dreams that you have at night you guys need to um write down your ideas uh as well because they could manifest into something you go back to it you look at it oh that was a great idea i should do that okay so i feel like in in forms here like they're going to help you through your dream state here scorpio they're going to help you in your conscious state when you're awake as well, they're going to show you signs, symbols, and synchronicities that you need to be attuned to, that you need to listen to. That's why you have the moon showing up, asking you to listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine, especially if you are dealing with some uncertainty here or worry or anxiety, especially about your financial state. I just saw this. There's someone in your life. But let's take a look at someone in your life or someone coming into your life. For a lot of you guys, it's just someone coming into your life here, okay? But let's take a look at this moon card. Let's clarify this about any unnecessary worry. They're saying let go of those fears here, okay? There's a plot twist happening for you, all right? Just when you thought everything was going down the drain, no, okay? When things couldn't get worse, when things couldn't be more twisted up like this pretzel, there's a plot twist, Okay, something unexpected is coming into your life. That's what plot twist means. Something very unexpected and it's involving someone else here. You have the queen and the king of pentacles showing up for you. This could be a lover, a good friend, a soul mate or soul tribe coming into your life here. Scorpio. This person is very grounded with their energy. They're going to help you make 
the best out of your ideas. They're going to add value to your life and bring in some, some stability towards your life here. You guys have a love showing up for you here, Scorpio. If you've been looking for love, it's here. If you've been looking for a um, Ooh, the horse is behind you. <laughs> For some reason, I'm just feeling that here, okay? This person is going to help you through a period in your life where things may not be so clear. They're going to come in and make sense of it for you here, okay? Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. They're going to help you uh, uh, maybe in a financial sense, get your finances together or help you um, in your financial pursuit of freedom, um, this could be someone at your job or it could be a job like an employer, supervisor, someone chooses you for a position here. That's something else that I'm hearing as well. These people are very business minded, very grounded in their energy and they have great plans. So they help you, whoever this is, they're going to help you through the worst time. This could also be a lover that I'm seeing here as well. Like they may be well established financially or they have great business since great business plans they bring in a no nonsense no worry type of relationship towards you here and they're all in it okay to win it with you so you have a very good team player to come and help you pick up the pieces and put you on the pedestal with them that's what i'm seeing that's why we have the worst in ruins they help you <laughs> build your castle back up or provide you with a new one okay they're like move over here with me uh scorpio i got something better for you okay they bring in a lot of beauty okay and they have a sens sensible approach to challenges here um uh, very intellectual sensible approach not emotional ones towards challenges here okay very grounded in your in, in their energy this may be someone from your past Someone that you were or uh, had as a friend or you knew them in the past. It could be from a past life for you guys as well here. They're just doubling up your cards. You have the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups here, okay? You can meet this person through a friend, friend of a friend, or you can meet them while you're out ce uh, celebrating here as well. You may meet them in the midst of traveling here. I'm not meaning to turn your reading into a love reading, but I feel like there is a very significant relationship that is coming into place for you. Like I said, it could be personal, which I feel is very personal, or it could be professional for you. Okay, like this person is going to be a lifelong partner, business or personal for you. And you meet them in some unexpected way um here when you're not expecting it like you're not even looking for it here they come out of the blue <laughs> that's what they're saying here let's take a look at this three of cups here scorpio and this six of cups six of cups is about the return of people or romance from the past or this could be just the person you were dreaming of as a child okay some of you guys, your dream of a partner that you had when you were young, that old dream is moving into your reality right now, okay? Wow, you have mistaken identity and a loss showing up for you. Maybe this is a lost love for some of you guys because we're clarifying the Six of Cups here. Maybe you lost contact, okay? And now you're reconnecting with this person. Maybe you had a situation in the past life here because um, you have a mistaken identity here as well. A person from your past life um, that you lost, very close connection with them in a the past life, and now you're reuniting with each other. This is very this is very shocking for me very shocking energy here and I, I definitely feel like someone's meant for you um someone's coming in towards you it may start off as someone is very casual okay it may start off as a friendship and it develops into something new it could be a colleague of yours someone that you used to work with someone that you lost contact with in this lifetime 
and other Scorpios, this is someone from your past life returning. I can't help but to keep saying that love, okay? And this person is going to either be a lover to you or it's go they're going to be um, a great friend to you or a great benefit to you in some uh, professional way, okay? Like a wonderful colleague, person to work for or work with. This is popping, <laughs> showing up here, okay? Choose your weapon. So, I don't know why this is coming up with this three of cups. Choose your weapon. You have the sword or the pen. Do you fight with the sword or the pen? Here. And I, some of you guys need to channel right. That's what I'm hearing here as well. Channel right. Uh, or you need to um, work your magic. That's what they're saying to me here, Scorpio. Like write down your intentions um, for the new life that you're wanting to have. The pen is mightier than the sword. That's something else that I just heard. So this card is about deciding to fight, deciding how to fight, finding one strength, a crossroads at a start of a conflict, picking sides, a moral decision, a duel or a rivalry, rivalry uh, putting the pen against the sword, pitting the pen against the sword, training for a fight, the commitment. Some of you guys, I'm just going to be real, you may be choosing to stop fighting for a relationship, a friendship. You may choose to move over to, towards new connections, new relationships with people who are very supportive of you. This could be a, a moment where you're going to have such a, a amazing relationships here that it's going to be something you're going to be celebrating all the time because you have find you finally have found your tribe, you found your soul family, you found your person, okay? In love or in business that actually gets you, that understands you here, okay? 3 of cups. So some of you guys are leaving the past people behind and you're you're charging forward fearlessly. Uh, with this Knight of Swords, your spirit guides are encouraging you here to be continue to be decisive and be a force to be reckoned with, okay? You're a force to be reckoned with. Remain focused and driven and decisive. You guys can do that. I told you love is coming in. It's coming in quick, baby, okay? Whoever this is, they're smart. They know exactly what they come before. But I feel like your spirit guides came and got them. They were like, look, cancer me. A cancer. <laughs> this may be a cancer for some of you guys. <laughs> Scorpio needs help, okay? You need to come help them. You have the Cardinal in this picture here with the Knight of Swords. And they're leading the way towards you. And it's gonna be a celebration. There's an engagement or celebrate you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna meet this person through a celebration, okay? Through a gathering, an announcement, or or it could be work situation here for some of you guys, uh, like a meeting or traveling for work or just chilling okay going to have fun but something unexpected and sudden is happening here and it's love that's what they're saying to you love of a friend love of um of a soul tribe soul family here love of some business or something you're going to be doing but you're going to be loving it okay it's going to be something to celebrate here but I, do I feel someone's charging in towards you here? Absolutely. I feel like they're charging in. They're coming in to help you. And I feel like your spirit guides are sending them to you. Your angel number 1444 here, Scorpio. The universe is offering you positive energy. It's just coming in towards you. Inner strength and support. Support. To enable you to get the work done. That's why you have this earth energy. Queen of uh, Pentacles. King of Pentacles. They're sending someone towards you. To help you get some work done. They understand that you have been working hard. Towards your goals. And encourage you to look to new and different ways. To go about getting your work done more effectively. They may send someone in your life. And I see it. To help you gain a new perspective. Or offer you new ideas on how to improve your life or your situations here. Angel number 1444. This is the flow of supply and abundance coming into your life. 
follow the path that you wish to pursue go within and be in constant contact with your higher self okay i told you some people are going to be walking out of your life or you're going to walk them out you're walking <laughs> you're walking them to the plank oh a scare okay scorpio the the reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you they have been removed from your life because the universe is taking you to the next level okay they have already served their purpose in your life let them go keep moving greater is coming i told you all right that's why they're saying choose your weapon. Some of you guys need to sign some divorce papers. Sign over that house. Sell that house. Whatever you need to do. Love. Okay. Get rid of that car. They're like, that's my car. I bought that. Take that piece of sh no, I'm just <laughs> Take it. I got another one coming. Okay. <laughs> Love. I'm just saying. Some of you guys, a contract may be ending somewhere. A lease may be ending somewhere. Something's ending. Okay, that's something that I'm feeling. You're like, are you going to fight for it? The pen is mightier than the sword. Sign off. Bye. See ya. Okay. I'm on to something greater. Greater is coming. And I got to meet it halfway. This just shot out for you. Your spirit guys are saying if you didn't get something, you really want it at this time. If you feel stuck or feel like things are not going according to your plans, no. That something bigger and better is coming. It's something filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive what you asked for in the first place. Like if you, you wonder, oh my God, you know, this loss of this person that I thought I was supposed to be with. Man, I'm telling you, you guys could be meeting a soulmate out of this world. You could be connecting with this could be the return of a twin flame for some of you guys. Like you separated. There was a loss between you two. You lost each other, okay? Because there was a lot of running and chasing with that twin flame. But now you've worked things out on your own and the past returns. Your twin flame returns here. You're, and you're both bosses, okay? And you're here to work on the ruin, okay? And make the worst something very positive here. You come together finally. If this is not a twin flame for you... This is a soulmate for you, okay? Or just a good good uh, person coming into your life as a friend that's coming in to help you. But if you would have kept what the, the thing that has been ruined or the false twin or the false lover, okay? You, wouldn't have you will not be receiving now, okay? What's truly meant for you. That's what your guides are saying. So at this moment, if something's leaving, let it go because you are in this energy of creating here, Scorpio. Angel number 1998. We create our own reality here. And you need to find your way into being open to this new flow of energy coming in towards you. Of great abundance in all areas of your life. Your last message that's showing up. Is something deep within you, okay? If something deep within you tells you that something is not quite right, trust it. And that is your intuition. <laughs> Coming out with this plot twist in the moon here. Your intuition, listen to it, right? Listen and pay attention to the signs from the divine. So if you feel something deep in your gut, something is not quite right, trust it. If you are unhappy in your life, change something. It is entirely up to you. Stop making excuses. Don't shoot the messenger. Thank. Stop making excuses. You are in control of your own life. You are in control of your own reality. Angel number 1998. This is a great reading for you. I appreciate you guys allowing me to do this reading for you here, Scorpio. Make sure you guys let me know how these angel numbers feel to you, the message that came out for you. If you guys have seen these angel numbers, let me know how you've seen them, where you've seen them as well. We're all interested to know. Make sure you guys give this uh, video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come back with another reading for you. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign so you can get a clear picture of what spirit wants you to know. May 15th through June 15th. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Take care, loves. Bye.